So, Rappahannock United Way brought the Alice Project to Virginia. It started in New Jersey through the United Way of Northern New Jersey. Um, and they did a, a big project that included a report. And the report really educates the entire state. So, it's for the whole state of Virginia around a population that most people aren't aware of. Um, and are surprised by the numbers. And it's called ALICE. Mm -hmm. It's an acronym for um, Asset Limited, Income Constrained, Employed. So it's a target population where these individuals, these households, they're working, sometimes more than one job. Um, they are asset limited, so they may not have a home. They may not have um, more than one car. Um, they may not have savings. They may not have resources at their disposal or support system. They're income constrained, which means they're working, but they are not making enough for a survival household budget. So in the state of Virginia, there are 11% of individuals and households that are in poverty. That means they make less than $24,000 or less a year. That's the federal poverty level. But then there's another 28% of Virginians who work paycheck to paycheck, are barely making a survival budget, and one life crisis, whether uh, on because of what they've done or unexpected, mm -hmm. throws them into a crisis immediately, and they don't have the uh, assets or the income to really be able to survive that crisis. And so United Way is trying to make people aware of the Alice population. We want to help Alice because they're working. They want to be thriving, but they don't always have that support. So how can we support Alice? They often don't even qualify because of income for assistance um, from the government, uh, from the state and local government, federal government. They don't qualify for some of our nonprofit support because it's based on income. So where do they turn for help if they don't have a support system? So United Way wants to be there for Alice. Um, and so we are trying to educate people about the Alice population, but we're also doing a lot to support Alice. And how can people find out about that support and get involved? Absolutely. Well, thank you for, for talking to me today. Um, this is one way. But so, for the last 12 years, many people don't even realize this. United Way, Rappahannock United Way, um, which serves Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania, Stafford, King George, and Caroline, we have uh, an Alice Emergency Fund. And so if you're working um, and a life crisis helps, the Emergency Fund helps you with rent, mortgage, uh, maybe car repairs. It helps you to stay employed. We want to make sure that you're still working so that you can continue to take care of yourself and your household. Um, and so there isn't an income requirement with that. The requirement is that it's a one-time help that you're employed and that whatever dollars we give you to support your need of where you are um, helps to sustain you. That it's not going to be the same issue month after month. So mm -hmm. we had a, a single father who uh, uh, his car broke down and he needed to get to work. So he had some money so he Ubered to work every day. But then that money ran out and when he wanted to get his car fixed um, he got his car fixed but the repair shop would not let him have his car until he paid that high bill to get his car fixed. He couldn't get his car back. He had run out of his Uber money. So United Way was able to step in through our emergency assistance fund, help pay for those repairs, help that dad get his car back. And now he's back at work and now he's self-sustaining. He can, you know, he's not making a lot of money, but he's taking care of his family. But it's that one crisis that's not your fault. You know, um, a lot of times uh, it could be a broken down car. It could be a medical emergency. It could be a divorce. It could be a death in the family and families aren't prepared for that and they just need a hand up. And so we're helping those who can't get help anywhere else. So I guess one of the best places to start would be just to contact Rappahannock United Way? Yes, you can call United Way. So it's 373-0041, extension 307. Since November, we have helped 13 households um, through this fund and put out over $24,000 in assistance. Um, and we are asking that our community help us to build that fund up so we can continue to help people. And we're anticipating, Ted, now with the government shutdown, we believe that our Alice households are going to need help more than ever before. There are so many hardworking individuals impacted 
by the shutdown. Um, they could be in hospitality that supports uh, some of the federal entities. They could be in food. Uh, they could be a driver. Um, they could be a small business. Um, there are so many people um, who have been impacted by the shutdown. We don't know how long this is going to last, but we do know people are in need every day. And so we are asking for donations. Uh, if you want a quick way to give, you can text to give. Uh, you text to 41444, the words REW Cares. And then it pulls up a, a pledge form and you can give right there. Uh, you can go to our website and click on donate. You can come by and visit our office. We'd love to see you and, and, and give a check. Um, but we do need help replenishing this fund. Well, and it's, it's good to know that there's something like this local and it's, you know, you, you've you've had this running now for for a while right. and you know it's 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 here and this is what it's for this is exactly what it's for we talk about these life events that happen and so now we're including the government shutdown as a life event it's no one's fault that this is happening but there are many in our community who are in need and so if they lived in Fredericksburg Spotsylvania Stafford King George or Caroline if you give to this fund those are the households that we're looking to help and like you say, it's not just the the government folks that are no. that are involved. Uh, there's less money being spent, and in, in, in some businesses have had to make some changes. No, absolutely. And so we're learning how many people are being impacted. Uh, today is, uh, or this week will be the the second payroll where individuals aren't receiving paychecks, so they're not spending their money outside as well. And so many many households are impacted. We want to help Alice. Um, they are employed, uh, but they, they need the help and support, and we want to be there. Um, we're there for our community. Our mission is to improve lives.